Hello everybody and welcome again to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Today we are going to do a very short flight from Butuan Airport over in Mindanao, Philippines. And we're going to be flying towards Manila. Uh, it's going to take about 1 hour and 30 minutes. And this should be a very quick and simple flight. Um, we're going to be flying 36,000 feet for our cruise altitude. Um, today we're going to be using the fly-by-wire A320 NEO. Um, so let's go ahead and dive in inside the cockpit and let's start the procedures. So normally when I get inside the cockpit I power on the uh, EFB. There we go. And since I've already loaded up a sim brief I'll just import the, the data inside my EFB. And there we go. That's my flight plan. Okay, so now we have that going. Let's connect the ground power unit so that we'd be able to use it and connect the jet bridge or the stairs and a couple of baggage trucks for the customers, for the passengers. I mean, All right, let's have a look outside. There it is. Okay, so now we're gonna power the aircraft. The flyby wire A320 has its own checklist, so to access the checklist, it, it just go right here, or you can use the Microsoft uh, checklist for the Airbus A320. So let's do that. Okay. Engine master switches all off. Engine mode selector is norm. Check. Landing gear lever down. Checked. Wipers well off. Battery switches. Let's turn it on. Battery one and battery two. Okay. External power check on if available. Yes, it is. Okay. APU fire test. Let's perform it. Um, to, let's just make sure that um, the aircraft has loaded properly. Okay, there we go. So we're going to be doing a few tests here. APU test. Check. Now let's start the APU. APU master switch on. Three seconds and APU master switch. Uh, I mean APU start switch on. Now you should be able to see this screen right here. And with that, we are going to be seeing uh, the APU starting up right there. Okay, so now that's done. Uh, let's uh, prepare the cockpit lights so. also I would like to okay yeah um, same thing here I would like to turn these on and these as well okay
might need to turn up the brightness for our panel here because it, it is sunny out right now all right okay so let's make sure that the uh, parking brake is on which is it, it is uh, accumulated pressure and brakes pressure which is right here checked speed brake lever disarmed and retracted which it is uh, flaps is up oh okay. probe heat set to auto which it is otherwise it would be on if you pushed it in <clears throat> AP bleed switch turn on so that the uh, passengers would have the air conditioning check overhead for white uh, lighting which uh, we're gonna be doing right now so from here that's the only one uh, we got emergency exit lights here we should arm those um, the fuel pumps must be on and that's about it no other white lights shown check cross bleed is auto which is checked uh, cargo heat selector as required um, we don't need those so we're good in that electrical panel on overhead check those um, check ventilation panel is checked ecam pages Let's check those All good checked emergency equipment checked rain repellent pressure checked and exterior check let's assume that we're gonna go outside to do our 360 degree checks so we're done with that next is our cockpit preparation The recorder ground uh, ground control well should be on check CVR test press and release done evac captain and PURS captain as required. There we go. Well, it's not required, so. Let's do that. Adiers. IRS, let's uh, turn them on. To, uh, switch them over to nav. Oh, there we go. Exterior lights. Since we have the power, uh, we have power going through our aircraft. Let's turn on the nav lights. We're not going to be using these not until later on. So 
No smoking signs. Set to auto. Seatbelt signs on. Emergency exit lights armed. Okay, We're, we've done that already. Annunciator lights check as required. Well, either we want them dim or bright. I'll also check them. Let me test. Okay. I want them bright so so that I'd be able to, to uh, see all the, the labeling and stuff. Landing elevation is set to auto. Pack flow as required. Ecam elect page. battery one and two off and then on so Good. check fuel mode selector Manual fuel pumps check on engine one and two fire test engine one engine two Audio switching panel normal. normal. This one is inoperational. Well, let's tune uh, communication frequencies. Um, well, we're using VATSIM as of the moment, but there is no online ATC, so we're gonna tune the frequencies over to Unicom which is 122.8 which is already set and we're gonna uh, file the flight plan real quick so here is my scene brief flight planning I'm just gonna Copy the flight plan over to this one. Put our departure airport and the destination airport, alternate airport as well. Okay. Uh, I I was supposed to depart at seven. Uh, zero, uh, zero seven zero zero Zulu, but let's uh, delay things about a, a bit. Zero seven three zero Zulu. Air time is 1 hour and 13 minutes. Fuel available is 2 hours and 23. Cruising altitude up to 36,000 feet. Yeah. Might assume that it is 470 knots. I think we're good with that. Let's go back to the aircraft. Um, let's assume that we already got our clearance, so let's uh, check those items off our checklist. Okay, now let's go to our uh, flight management computer. Flight plan init initialization. Um, well, according to our flight plan, we're gonna fly using the Bampa 1 Bravo departure. So let's put that in. Runway 30, Bampa 1 Bravo. Insert. 
poco Let's check for discontinuities And over at Manila, our arrival or our star is going to be Conde 5 Papa arrival So let's set that in as well There you go and with Zulu as our transition. Insert. There we go. Flight plan. Secondary flight plan is in operational as of the moment. Our nav page. Oh, we. Mm, we're not going to be using the R nav page for our takeoff for today. As uh, zero fuel weight. It's within the fuel page, but. We'll um apparently the aircraft is using the current weight of the aircraft so uh, the weight of the aircraft is still changing because we are actually still boarding so let's wait until the boarding is complete and we'll finish the zero fuel weights and the block fuel for the aircraft so um i'll be back in uh, about a few And we are back guys, we, uh, boarding is about to be completed, uh, we have um, only about 12 passengers left, um, I mean we're, we're just waiting for uh, about 11 passengers to board the aircraft and um, once that is finished, uh, the Airbus A320neo by Fly-By-Wire actually has some uh, cool features as well. Um, it has its own uh, flight attendants or flight crew. Uh, you should be able to hear it via the PA system. Uh, the attendants would uh, normally uh, do some announcements. Uh, uh, well, also the Airbus, I mean the flyby where A320 has some pilot voices integrated as well so you should be able to hear the um, captain's voice uh, doing some welcome uh, statements to the customers or I mean the, the passengers and just like that yeah uh, in a few minutes the captain will be speaking and um, let's continue on with our checklist okay so as we were doing a while ago let's go to the fuel page just click on this that, that's gonna put it there uh, for the block fuel um, let's click planning oh I'll make, let's make sure that ladies and gentlemen from the flight deck already I'm loaded the myself your captain the first officer correctly of I'd like to take this time to welcome you aboard our flight we're just wrapping up some paperwork up front here and waiting to see final numbers from the ground crew then we'll be on our way Flight attendants will be coming through the cabin it's shortly with a very important safety briefing. One. We do ask that you give them your full undivided attention as they review the safety operations of this Airbus aircraft. We do appreciate your business having you aboard this flight. If there's anything we do to make your flight any more enjoyable, please don't hesitate to ask. Welcome aboard. Okay. Thank you. And now we're back to the performance page. Um, we're we're going to put the V1, V rotate, and V2 speed. But before that, let's put the flaps first. Um, we're gonna not we're not gonna be using flex temperature for this. The transition altitude is eleven thousand feet. That's correct. That's for uh, all the airports here in the Philippines. Okay, let's put in the V one, V rotate, and the V two speed.
take off shift as required. Blind cruise descent preset speeds as required. Glare shield, integral lights, and floodlight. We're done with that, so let's check those. Uh, barometric reference. Uh, well, we do not have any data for the weather in Boot 1 as of the moment. Um, but I'm gonna assume that it's gonna be the same as with Manila. Again, it's not uh, the, re the realistic way of doing things. Normally, there has to be a weather report for that uh, airport, but uh, we're going to use the same uh, with the Manila weather report here, okay? So, that's QNH1008, and we're going to do it as well for, for this. Set. Flight director is on both sides. Oh. EFIS and the mode and range. Mm, I'm good with five kilometers for now. VR ADF selector. Uh, uh, we don't need those. We don't need those. So. Let's check that off. FCU. Okay. Dashed. Check. Heading. Checked. Altitude. Um, well, um, we're going to flying directly towards flight level 360 I mean 340 is that right yeah, it's just 34,000 not 36,000 34,000 lateral console oxygen mask Well, it, it's inoperational, but um, I, I, I cannot click on the uh, oxygen masks just yet. Yeah. Crew supply, it's on. This is inoperational, so we'll just check that off the list. Ecamm door page. Check off. Instrument panels, PFD and ND brightness. Check. Loudspeaker, inoperational. PFD and ND. Check. Sensor instrument, standby ASI. Is checked. Standby altimeter. And standby artificial horizon is checked. Clock. 0706 Zulu checked anti skid and nose wheel steering is on checked pedestal takeoff briefing well um well uh, I'm not gonna do the takeoff briefing for now but so let's just check that off the list alright next checklist complete now let's uh, go with before st start checklist non-interactive let's assume the load sheet has been uh, completed so let's check that take off data prepare and check seat belts seats rudder pedals adjust 
MCDU in takeoff config external power off and disconnect because we already have the APU push back and start up clearance let's just uh, assume that we are already cleared wheel steering check windows and doors closed check you can light on thrust lever set to idle parking brake and acute pressure check parking brake uh, we'll wait until the push back the, the the tug has already lifted the aircraft And away we go. Did we miss a couple of checklists? Oh. Engine start up. Uh, let's uh, set the parking brakes on. Engine mode selector to ignition. Starting number two. On. Let's uh, wait until engine number two has stabilized and we'll start number one. Normally it would uh, say a veil right here. So once that shows a veil, we'll start number number one. And there we go. Start number one. And let's wait until uh, engine number one has stabilized.
after engine startup checklist engine mode selector to norm checked APV is off ground spoilers armed rudder trim zero Flap levers, take off position. Flaps one. Pitch trim. Well, we have about 24.4 CG, which I believe we are in, set in the correct position. Yeah, it's around that. 24. 24.4 set ecom status page check engine and wing anti eyes as required but we don't need those so let's check that off APU mass switch is going off ecom door page select Could announce clear to disconnect. All right, let's do the taxi checklist. A uh, taxi clearance obtained. Um, there is no ATC, but we're gonna announce, uh, anyways. Um, but one traffic advisory Cebu 788. Taxiing to runway 30 via taxiway echo. So that's finished. No slight taxi. Runway turn off lights. Uh, we don't need those. We, we are in broad daylight, so we don't need that. Parking brake is going off. Brakes check. Auto brakes, settle max, ATC clearance, confirm, uh, okay, take off data, uh, we're gonna do in flaps 1 for takeoff, V1131, V rotate at 132, and 136 for V2, okay, light plan check. Initial climb and speed check. Cleared altitude on FCU. Heading on FCU. Check. Flight directors on. Mode annunciator check. Flight instruments check. Red radar. Turn on the red radar. But uh, I, what I know is it is inoperational for now. Also, the wind shear. Yeah, it's in operation so we were not going to be seeing some weather uh, displays on our screen predictive wind shear yeah it's set to auto squawk code is 7000 takeoff briefing confirm cabin report received takeoff config push button it's this one check test normal take off memo take off no blue we're gonna announce it to the crew that we are ready for takeoff no blue cool take item and let's start our taxi let's bring a, f uh, a little bit of power here so that the aircraft would move Since we are entering an active runway, let's turn on the um, landing lights and but, uh, the strobe lights off. to on. Transponder set to T A R A. Okay. 
Okay. Before takeoff checklist, brake temperature check. Takeoff or lineup clearance. Uh, we're about to line up. Uh, approach path clear of traffic check. Engine mode selector. It's set to norm. TCAS TARA check. Packs both are on. Exterior lights checked. Sliding table, it's in operational. ATC, when you click takeoff, well, there is no ATC. So we're going to do our uh, 360 turn right here. Bring a little bit of power. And we're ready to go um let's turn on our uh, chrono here and uh 50 and one let's put on some brakes first make sure that the engines are equally uh, powered okay and uh release the brakes and let's set to uh the thrust levers to toga Pushing the sticks a little forward here, and uh, I'm gonna put the sticks to neutral once we reach 100 knots. 100 knots, sticks to neutral. V1, rotate. And positive rate, gear up. Let's engage the autopilots. Put one traffic advisory, Cebu 788, airborne, Bampa 1 Bravo, departure, climbing to flight level 340, passing 2000 feet. Any traffic in the area, please be advised. Let's set the trust levers to climb and flaps up since we are above VS. And with that, well, let's do our takeoff checklist. Um, yeah, we've done this. Yeah, trust levers, chrono, yes, check, perform. Yeah, I, I, I just couldn't do all the checklists while while I am uh, flying. Uh, I, I needed uh, a co-pilot to do this for me. But yeah, we've already done all of these. Just do the ground spoilers. Spoilers. To off. It's this one. Okay. Exterior lights set. Thrust levers to climb. Yes. Packs on. At acceleration altitude. Yes. Check. Above acceleration altitude flaps one. 
Green Flap Zero. After take of checklist, APU bleed as required, your windows, uh, APU master switch is off, engine mode selectors to norm, TCAS mode selector, TARA, and TI's protection is off. Flying checklist, pilot monitoring MCDU page, flight plan. Pilot flying's MCDU page is to set to, be, uh, to climb. Um, well, uh, it, they're the same, so we cannot do uh, these independently. Um, engine anti ice not required, whether radar tilt is in operational. Let's just wait until we reach 10,000 feet. Oh, 10,000 feet, landing lights off. There we go. And uh, we are in a stable flight. Uh, Seatbelt signs are coming off as well. We are reaching uh, transition altitude, so let's set the barometric pressure to standard EFIS option ECAM memo check rad nav page check Secondary flight plan is in operation and optimal maximum altitude. Check. Okay, so now we're just gonna wait until we reach the cruising altitude of uh, 34,000 feet. We're currently at 13,000 feet and still climbing towards uh, Jared. Okay, so. I'll see you guys when we are uh, about to reach the top of the scent and uh, let's continue on from there, okay? Alright, see you. Okay, and we are back. Uh, we are about to reach the top of the scent. Um, we are currently at 34,000 feet, which is our cruising level, and we are 10 miles uh, from Sagra. Next is Konde, which is where our um, arrival procedures uh, is going to start. Um, I might descend a little earlier than the uh, intended flight path or flight profile so that we'd be able to have um, some allowance or clearance with the altitudes and stuff because uh, from this point up until Conde it's just a little bit of space to just you know and if you look at the charts at Conde it says there that we have to be at or above uh, 16,000 feet I believe Let's check on the charts here. Conde 5 Papa. Arrivals. There we go. Yeah. It says here we should be at or above 16,000 feet. With a maximum speed of 250 knots. So I might start my descent here traffic advisory Cebu 788 at Sagra descending to uh, starting our descent to flight level 160 towards Conde and uh, we are expecting ILS 24 at Manila any traffic in the area please be advised let's turn the volume up for the flight simulator I'm not hearing anything there we go. Now let's start our descent. Six 
16,000 feet first. And I was seeing, uh, well, some a little bit of traffic earlier. Let's double check that. Oh, I think we, we have some ATC uh, services, um, which is good. We're going to have a little bit of ATC. Um, Purple flight deck, ladies and gentlemen. As you may have noticed, we have begun our initial descent down to our destination. Now would be a good time to wrap up any business you need to take care of as we prepare for our approach. If you are up, once you return to your seat, we ask that you remain seated until you have passed the life safety at the gate. Flight attendants, please prepare the cabin for a ride. Let's have gate... Uh, 105. Stand 105 at Terminal 3 for our um, arrival. And we're gonna park there. Let's prepare the notepad. 8105 Terminal 3. should have started. Let's do open the sink. Okay. And with that, let's uh, listen to AT's information. Well, yeah, it's still not available, but we do have some information here. It says your QNH1008, so let's put that in with our destination data. 1008, temperature is 33 degrees with the wind of 270 at, at, at 270 9 knots transition altitude okay and for this we're going to be using ILS from the 24 Decision altitude is 375 feet. And that's about it. Um, should take us a few more minutes to, re to reach Conde. Uh, we're going to be contacting Tower once we are on final. still far ahead from Manila so we cannot just set the frequencies right now but yeah but I, I believe we can still do this uh, one one two six four QNH1008, notices to air mission. Ensure transponder is on mode Charlie before push and start. Avoid radio checks. 
Advise controller on initial contact. You have information. Bravo. Advise on initial contact. You have information. Bravo. This is Nino Aquino International Airport. Information. Bravo. Time 700 Zulu. Zulu. Arrivals expect ILS runway 24 approach. Runway 24 and runway 31 in use. When 270 at Niner, when variable between 240 and 300. Visibility Niner, 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 Niner. Few clouds at 2500. Temperature 33. 2.25. QNH1008. Notices to air mission. Ensure transponder is on mode Charlie before push and start. Avoid radio check. Advise controller on initial contact. You have information. Bravo. Advise on initial contact. You have info. Okay. Information. Bravo. That is the current information. Uh, landing runway is runway 24. And um, winds 2709 knots. That's a fairly uh, weak wind but uh, you'll never know I mean, there might be some uh, wind shears and all that so we might we must be alert as well so uh, let's also put in the tower frequency with our standby frequencies here which is 118.1 one. Let's look at the uh, the altitude. Manila Tower frequency showing up. Good, good. So double check the flight plan and what we're, we're going to do some checklists now. So we're done with the cruising. We're, we're also doing, we're also done with the descent, descent preparation. So let's do the descent checklist. Descent start check. MCD page, progress, perf, descent, yes, we're done. Flight monitoring, flight plan, yes. Descent monitor, yes. Checked. Speed brake, no, we're, we're, we're not doing that right now. Weather radar, tilt, it's in operation, so let's check that. Barometric reference, set. Um, yeah, uh, let's do the barometric reference, which is 1008. It's still on STD for standard terrain ND, it's in operation also. ECAM status page, we don't have any messages there, but okay, pretty, pretty good. Let's wait until 10,000 feet. So let's hold on to that checklist. Currently at flight level 195 or 19,500 feet. So from Conde, um, we're going to follow heading 320 towards Boris. And at Boris, we should be at or above 9,000 feet. From Boris, we're going to do a right-hand turn towards Abesa. From Abesa, 
we must maintain 230 knots oh and by the way we are descending from Boris to 7200 at Mutan that's the uh, minimum minimum altitude here uh, it's because of the mountains uh, the mountain ranges in the area so for safety we must maintain 7200 from Mutan we're gonna be following ILS runway 24 uh, towards Zulu uh, from 7200 feet we're gonna descend towards 2500 feet at Zulu from there, we're going to be calling tower when we reach uh, DME 7.5 or DME 7, uh, 9.0. And that's about it. Uh, we're, we're just going to be following the uh, procedures and uh, all the instructions by the ATC once we reach Manila. And we're also going to be requesting... Uh, gate 105 as stated earlier and yeah that's the goal and for now we're gonna stick to this chart right here as our guide <clears throat> okay now we are reaching Conde so we're going to do a left hand turn heading 320 towards Boris which it is yeah it is see that from Boris turning right towards Abesa just this one right here from Abesa to Natai from Natai turn right to Anton from Anton left hand turn to Mutan which is this one right here We got that going for us, so that's good. Okay. Now we are at 16,000 feet. We can set um, 9,000 feet. Uh, we are currently at Conde. So, uh, Manila Traffic Advisory Cebu 788, now at Conde, descending to 9,000 feet. Commencing Conde 5 Papa arrival procedures and expecting ILS runway 24 for the approach. Any traffic in the area, please be advised. feet we're almost at the transition altitude 11,000 feet once we reach 11,000 feet we're gonna set the bar barometric uh, pressures to whatever is the QNH once we reach 10,000 feet we're gonna turn on the landing lights and the signal signs but I might have to correct this one right here because at Boris, we need to be at 9,000 feet with speed. Wait, let me double check. Conde was a, supposed to be 250. I think we should uh, lower the speed to 250. base size is supposed to be 230 knots which is good
We're still way above 9,000 feet, but that's okay. Um, we're about to reach Boris. From Boris, we're going to descend towards 7,200 feet. Eleven thousand feet. Let's set the barometric pressure to one zero zero eight. Perfect. Oh, and by the way, we're going to be using medium for auto brakes. I I wanted to. Uh, I I'm planning to stop a little earlier than than expected. Um. So. If I were to touch down here, I then should be able to stop right here and make a right turn towards Echo 2 and just uh, taxi straight ahead to uh, Via Delta and then Gulf 1 4 end up until November 5 to Gate 105. So that's the uh, fastest way to go about things. But if we miss Echo 2, we're going to have to exit towards um, Romeo 4 right here, which is going to be a long way towards Terminal 3. So this is the most efficient way of going, uh, of, of going to our destination. So that's why I am using medium auto brakes. So we are reaching 10,000 feet. So let's just turn on the landing lights and the signal signs on. So let's do the checklist. On landing lights, set seatbelt signs on. Turn on the constraints. Check. We're not going to turn on the uh, landing system button just yet. We're going to turn it on once we uh, are almost at Natai. So let's set the uh, let's check the radio nav aids if things are in uh are put there correctly okay 109.9 and the identifier is ima let's see let's cross check the charts 109.9 ima and yeah that's the ils frequency for 24 check yeah let, let's uh check this uh item off we're just going to turn it on later on. ILS approach checklist. Well, we're not approaching the ILS just yet, so let's uh, wait until we are close to the station. And we're going to maintain 230 knots to maximize the uh, speed. Yeah. We're a little bit too slow. Manila traffic, Philippine 219er, radio check. Radio 5. Thank you, sir.
Manila Traffic Advisory, Cebu 788 now at Abesa, descending to 7,200 feet. And we are still at Conde 5 Papa arrival procedures, expecting runway 24 for the approach. Any traffic in the area, please be advised. Natai, okay, let's turn on the LS button. Good. I can see uh, the ILS frequencies here. And the identifier, IMA. At Natai, we should maintain 210 knots. Let's do that. There we go. ILS approach checklist, engine mode selector is norm, seatbelt signs on, perf approach phase, let's activate, performance gauge, check, positioning monitor, managed speed, let's do that later. From 7,200, we're descending towards 2,500, but we're doing managed altitude, so it's gonna follow the constraints. It's not gonna go less than 7,200. There. See, it's gonna hold 7,200 up until Mutan. So we're good with that. So let's just check this item right here. Ground spoilers. Um, armed. Navigation accuracy high. Approach checklist complete. Uh, let's set flux one.
I don't see any traffic as well, so I think we're going to be number one for the approach. Okay, we have reached Mutan, so the plane or the aircraft is starting to descend towards 2500 and it's going to maintain 2500 up until it captures the glide slope. We're not going to lock the, uh, we're not going to turn on the lock mode. We're just going to follow this, this, uh, descent profile right here And the glide slope is captured. We're not going to follow the glide slope yet. We're, we're going to follow the chart. So let's maintain 2500 first at Zulu. We're going to capture the glide slope later on. Okay. Tower is calling. Manila Tower, Cebu 788, good afternoon, we are inbound ILS runway 24. Cebu 788, good afternoon, Manila Tower, continue approach. Continue approach, Cebu 88, 788, correction. Thousand five hundred feet. <clears throat> Let's decrease our airspeed to one eight zero knots. Put seven eight eight wind to sixty degrees, we have an option runway two four clear to land. Two thousand five hundred clear to land, uh, runway two four. Cebu 788 Cool, cool Let's uh, arm the approach mode Autopilot 1 and 2 engaged Laps 1 is checked TCAS TARA Annunciator is checked Load, localizer, and glide slope captured. We're not going to be using VS mode. And go around altitude will be set later on. Flaps 2. Gear down.
manage the speed mode. Up street. And flaps full. Anti eyes off, exterior light set. Damn, it's so hard to do all these checklists when you're flying alone, huh? ECAM memo, landing low blue, landing checklist is completed. Flight parameters check. Let's make sure that the plane does not crash. Let's just focus on flying. Okay, let's prepare the cabin. Now I'm gonna hand fly this thing once we once we reach the minimums or the uh, decision height. Oh, and I'm gonna set the go around the altitude, which is four thousand feet. Right? Yeah. Climb four thousand at four thousand. Turn left. We're, we're done with that. So, 1,000. Let's just focus on flying. And let's hope for the best. Good afternoon, Cebu Niner 05. Cebu Niner 05, good afternoon, Manila Tower, go ahead. Cebu Niner 05, Airbus 321, Bay 120, IFR to Wateklan, level 220. 500, 100 above. Cebu Niner 05, confirming runway 31. 400. If firm, we'd like to request Harbo 1 favor. Autopilot. Disengaged. Cebu 905, you're clear to Katiklan, Harbor 1 departure, direct Verde, with C24 Tapper, flight plan to runway 31, plan and maintain flight level 230, 4402. 200. Okay, Cebu 905 is cleared, Katiklan, Harbor 1, direct Verde, then filed runway 31 for departure, level 230, squawk with 4402. 40, 30. Cebu 905, beat back correct. Can H1208 report ready for push back and start. Here it will call for push, Cebu 905. Trust reverse. Yeah, we missed our turn. That's fine. Cebu 4 Cebu 788 vacating runway at Romeo 4 Cebu 788 welcome to Manila Right Charlie, hold short 3-1. Right Charlie, hold short 3-1, Cebu 788. Okay. So, this is Charlie. Let's turn off the strobe lights.
4788 Cross 31 Delta Son of Choice Terminal please Cross 31 Delta Stand of Choice Terminal 3 Cebu 788 Okay he uh, has given us permission to, to just choose whatever he, we're going to be using so that's good we're going to taxi towards gate 105 via Gulf 14 and November 5 that's the runway right there Package truck it's available. Let's turn it on. Turn off the APU lead, then turn off the APUs. Turn off beacon lights. Turn off basically turn off everything. Turn off the seatbelt sign so that the passengers would disembark. And that's about it. We're done. Welcome to Manila. 